Craig Neal replaces Steve Alford, who left New Mexico for UCLA, replacing Ben Howland there, who led UCLA to three Final Fours. Steve Alford spent the last six years at New Mexico. He joined Eddie Katz in Katz Corner, but before that, we got to mic him up at a practice. Osco never got up this early, did you? <laughs> never. Huh? Never. Me and you got to have a little deal. Why? Because at media day, he was asked who was the best shooter on the team was. And he said he had to go with his roommate. And they were making reference to. That's loyalty. Four corners, let's go. Four balls. Four balls, let's go. Let's have a good one. Handle it now. Get your feel. Let's handle it. Let's go. That's it. Call out names. Call out names. Yeah, so everybody's helping everybody. So as you see Norman go to stunt to help uh, Dave, you're going to help Norman to stunt on Noah. Norman, you know how to play softball? You know how to play softball? You don't, do you? No, I knew you didn't. Good. Stay there, Kyle. Good. Get up there, Kyle. Good. We're not switching that one. Good pass. Go up. Hey, hey, good. But you got to really work. That's what Coach Schilling's been working with you. Catch here, go. Not catch and do this. All right. Reverse it. All right, good, good. I'm getting ice. Get there. Good, Norman. Good, Norman. Four passes. Soren, they don't do three man weave in Iran. Okay, just more pressure. That's where we get too far off. Well, Steve, we just saw you run a UCLA practice earlier on Friday. How settled is your point guard situation? Well, I think we're just, so I think the thing I've been impressed with with our guys, Andy, through, I think we've had 15 practices now, uh, is just uh, the intensity that they've brought to the, to the practices because, as you know, we're starting so early now. Uh, we're really starting to, supposed to start today, and we're 15 practices in, probably like a lot of teams, but just the intensity it brought has been outstanding. The point guard situation continues to get a lot of um, uh, interest, which is still baffling to me. But uh, you know, we've got Kyle Anderson that can play that position. We've got very good guards in Jordan, uh, Jordan Adams, Norman Powell, Zach Levine, Bryce, Nor uh, Noah Allen is having a, a great first couple of weeks to practice. We just got Isaac Hamilton. So, you know, guard play, you know, I'd be shocked if that's going to be an issue this year. I think our issue right now is becoming a better rebounding team, and that seems to be the glaring weakness that's uh, surfaced in the first 15 practices. So Isaac Hamilton, the transfer from UTEP, signed there, uh, is on scholarship, was not released from his NLI. What's his eligibility status for playing this season? It's still, uh, we don't, we have not heard anything back from the NCAA yet in regard to his eligibility. Steve, Andy Enfield, the USC, certainly was a little tongue-in-cheek in terms of going to his players in a practice about, you know, which team is going to run more in Los Angeles between the two schools. So, with that being thrown out there as a sort of a statement by USC, how much will this UCLA team run this season? Well, we're, we've said all along we're an up-tempo team, and I think our, the team that we have uh, has the ability to be very up-tempo, and I, I think we're going to try our very best to play that way and play at a speed to where we can take care of the basketball and get good shots and um, hopefully that's going to be a, an up-tempo up style. Uh, bottom line is we want to win games and that's what it's always been about UCLA. It's always been a big part of what I want to do in our program and um, you can only <laughs> you can only run so fast. Uh, the bottom, at the end of the day, it's uh, who's got more points on the scoreboard regardless of how fast you run and uh, I think we're, can, we're right now our biggest concern is how we win games. Well, speaking of that, Steve, uh, last season, before Jordan, Jordan Adams broke his foot, UCLA was on par to potentially win the Pac-12 tournament title and probably would have beaten Minnesota in the NCAA tournament. At what point do you think Jordan Adams can return to the play of last season? Well, he's had 15 really good practices. Um, he's been 100% since we started, and um, it's really my first time to have a chance to just see how good Jordan is. And um, he really understands moving his out to basketball. He has as good a basketball instincts uh, as maybe anybody I've coached. Um, incredible instincts at both both ends of the floor. And 
uh, has been our big key in getting us to the level that uh, we were hoping we were going to get to early in the season, and I think he's going to be a big part of what we do moving forward. Appreciate it, Steve. Thank you. I appreciate it, Andy. Thanks.